Hello Galactic Family. The questions. Interacting with a stupid. Question Masters, I have a man in my life that I met about 11 years ago. We lose contact and connect again many times. I feel very attached to him and sometimes I feel a lot of love coming from him, but then he left me for another woman and it happened three times. He is often cruel to the other woman in his life, but not to me. I love him so much and I feel disoriented every time he leaves. I'm not sure if he's a good person, but I feel very close to him. What are our lessons? JC United States Answer you are an easy prey for this manipulator and flirt. He seems to treat you better than the others because he knows you will accept him repeatedly, no matter what he has done. His connection to him is a comfort in knowing exactly what he will do, a desire for him to stay longer this time, and the hope that he will come back at least once more. The love you think you feel coming from him is a reflection of your love, which you are sending to him. He is incapable of feeling or understanding what love is, for him it is all about a sexual act and the impulse of his ego to have total control of the situation. When he returns, you treat him like a returning hero, worshipping him. His cruelty is a reflection of the way he feels about all women. You only know the way he treats others because of the things he said, which is just the way he observed things from a selfish point of view. He can be very compassionate to get what he wants, but the world refers to him and his needs. Make no mistake you're just a resource for it. You're in love with this bad boy image. He is not a person who is considered good by the majority of society although he is admired by some men. Souls have free will, so continue to offer yourself at the altar of the girl in every port mentality of this man, or bring a person who is participative and caring for your life, and who wants to create a stable and loving relationship. It's up to you. There are many, many men out there. Spiritual Approach versus Ego Question what you are justifying in the action of society is the belief system that the judgment of the ego is necessary to be part of society. Planet Earth is a duality, so there is an equal amount of positive and negative energy flowing. Answer society is controlled by the mind of the ego, which, by every action of man, classifies it, judges it, analyzes it against some imaginary pattern. If you find the mark of judgment then you are accepted as a contributing member of society. Otherwise, you are selfish, uneducated and indifferent, because you do not agree with your thoughts. Souls come into duality so that they can work with the life lessons they have chosen to experience. These tests come in the form of a negative problem and the solution is to understand negativity and choose to take the positive course, which gets you out of negativity. In fulfilling the desires of ego, social control, one must be predictable and follow the party's directives in all actions undertaken. If people think for themselves, as by following their intuition, they are no longer predictable and therefore a threat to ego control. The consciousness of its essence as a soul, and the completion of its life lessons comes with a change from being one who follows the demands of others to doing only what seems appropriate to him. In order to enter into unconditional love on the spiritual path, one must only concern oneself with what resonates in one's own body. You do not worry about what others think anymore. You are only able to fully utilize your intuition and fully follow your feelings when you complete all of your lessons. Until then, the individual needs the negativity and judgment in order to go through his slash her learning process. Helping at the end of life. Question Masters, I am a professional caregiver and have lately dealt with many souls who are making the transition to the spiritual world through illness or because of age. 
The hardest part for me is releasing and knowing that they do not have much time to live. I remain strong and smiling to leave your remaining life on earth as happy as I can for them. You develop this trust and this bond, and this makes release more difficult, but in the end it's worth it. I love my job and caring for people, but for every caregiver it's mentally difficult to keep smiling and not give up. Masters, I would just like to know if all the people I cared for and helped in their transition to the spiritual world are doing well. I still think of each one of them. Sylvia, United Kingdom. Answer you are looking for a family, and your position allows you to reach the point of comfort as they move forward. You are doing a fantastic service to these departing souls but you want to be able to maintain the contact you have begun to establish. It's time to be honest with yourself and ask what, other than just doing the work as outlined, you seek with these interactions. You are going far beyond just caring for the needs, physically, mentally and emotionally, of these wonderful souls. You are taking them to your heart with a desire for them to remain there. You understand that they are in transition, but you do not fully accept this, because of your need for continued company. Understand that when souls leave the duality of the earth in all its negativity, they enter into an existence of unconditional love, where they are reunited with all the other souls with whom they have passed the time, in the present life and in past lives. There is no negativity, so there is no pain. No unhappiness, no anguish, and no concern for what they experienced before coming to home. It is possible for you to visit these souls in the home under a deep meditation under hypnosis, or while your soul travels when you are asleep. Put your intention to the universe to do so, and instruct your unconscious to provide the vehicle. But do not forget to ask your soul to help you remember the contacts after you wake up. It's time to honor yourself for all the hard work you do. Pamper your body, look for a new hobby, take a long walk and get acquainted with nature. While you're still here, this will help your customers if you have a bright prospect at the moment. Reincarnation Guide Luhana, from Brazil asks the masters in my last life I left a man and he committed suicide. I know this from reading the Akashic records. In this life I loved him very much, but he left me. I wonder if even unconsciously he has forgiven me, and if we are of the same group of souls. Answer there was nothing to forgive because the event was the way he had planned to learn about abandonment and free will. You are from the same group of souls and have shared many lives together, participating with different roles in each other's lives, with each new incarnation. Anna from the Netherlands asks the masters I am a Reiki master, level 3 and I had a relationship that ended 3 years ago. His daughter kicked me out and he let her do everything. I still love him and would like to know why I cannot get this feeling out of my heart about him. And what is my mission here? Answer your greatest lesson is to learn that everyone makes their own decisions through free will. You cannot get someone to do what you want, unless he wants the same thing. This man has a weak personality and thinks giving up his daughter is something he has to do. You must learn from this that some of your dreams will never be realized. Go forward and allow another in your heart. You are studying various forms of love in this life. A line, from Brazil, asks the masters I would like to understand why I cannot maintain a loving relationship. Answer you do not love yourself and therefore you do not think others should love you. You lack self-esteem and confidence in your own abilities, and that influences every aspect of your life. Stop being devalued and see what a beautiful person you are, when you allow yourself to be. Newton from India asks the masters I would like to ask how I can achieve my destiny when someone looks at me in an evil way? 
How to stay protected? Answer You have to move away from negativity and bring unconditional love into your life. Do not judge yourself and others, and they will not be able to judge you and have an influence on your life. Always protect yourself in the white light of unconditional love and ask your guides to watch over you and protect you. Emanuela, from Brazil, asks the Masters Is my soul mate incarnated? Answer No. Your soul mate is in the home and not in a body shape at the moment. A. From India, asks the Masters I have been caught in a wave of depression and anxiety for more than a decade. I hate depression, to the point where every moment I am alive is torture. Please help me. I feel totally hopeless. Even though I try, I cannot love myself under any conditions. I am totally consumed by fear. In accordance with United States law, spiritual masters do not diagnose or prescribe for medical conditions. Your remarks are based on the spirit and relate to life lessons readers may wish to review the details of the Master's Handbook on Healing. Answer When you chose to come to Earth, you knew that the lessons you chose would appear to you as fears and anxiety. You wanted to see if you could understand what they were and be comfortable with them. Instead, you were comfortable to feel unhappy. You prefer to stay with depression rather than work on the cause to understand it and move on. You need to talk about your anxieties with a professional because you let them take charge of your life. Rachel from Australia asks the Masters what was the spirit or spirits wanting in my house recently? I felt like they were trying to tell me something. Are they still there or are they gone? Answered they are some brothers who were killed near their house in a storm, and they are looking for their parents who were not at home when they died. They come in and out of their immediate area in their quest. The next time you feel them, tell them that they are dead and that your parents have moved on, and all they need to do is ask them to come and help them through. Patty, from the United States, asks the Masters do you know who Eric Metis is? Is your interview with Jesus true? Answer Eric is a soul that failed to complete his chosen tasks and took his life to return home. Some of what he is saying is being interpreted correctly and some of it is being misinterpreted by the plumber, the one who expresses the words. The conversation with Jesus is an example of a channeling that puts some of your own thoughts into the vibrations coming from another dimension. A person is only able to channel concepts with which he is familiar. You cannot completely clear your mind when you receive the messages, and so, invariably, the preconceived notions themselves will be put into the readings. Monica, from Brazil, asks the Masters I am determined to separate from my husband after 32 years of relationship, but I wait for certain conditions to take a definitive attitude. These conditions never happen and it seems like my life is locked. I have the feeling that when I break free from this relationship things will flow. Should I leave this relationship, regardless of any other condition? Answer You are so ambivalent in leaving this relationship that you require conditions that you unknowingly know will never occur at the same time, thus preventing your departure. It's time to say, regardless of what is happening right now, that you either need to leave or commit to the relationship again. Anon from New Zealand asks the Masters over the years I have occasionally experienced out-of-body experiences in bed when I was younger, a very frightening sleep paralysis with demonic voices, whispering in my ear and playing and joking with my blankets. I also had a strange, but not scary, experience that looked as if a ghost had sex with me. Is this possible and what does it mean? Answer You are mixing and matching out of body experiences, dreams, expectations, recreations of things you have seen in movies and read in books, and actual events that have occurred in this dimension and in other places. 
This means that you have a very vivid imagination, an excellent memory of things observed and a desire to be an active participant rather than just an observer. It is possible to program yourself to have certain experiences while your body rests, thinking of them before closing your eyes. None of these occurrences are harmful. Marit from Finland asks the masters how do I know that I have made the right decision? Answer on a spiritual path there are no right or wrong decisions. There are only experiences from which you can learn. When you evaluate what happened, ask if you have learned something, whether you have judged it to be good or bad. Then, you will know what it was that you needed at that time to move forward. Lena from Lithuania asks the masters a dear friend was very depressed recently. She loses her mental stability very easily and the remedy she takes really does not help. I think she has a hard time staying balanced, but I do not know if it's because of her personality or because of her depression. What is the reason for her condition and what is the best way for her to break free of it? In accordance with United States law, spiritual masters do not diagnose or prescribe for medical conditions. Your remarks are based on the spirit and relate to life lessons readers may wish to review the details in the master's manual on healing. Answer your friend has entered a phase of her life where she sees no hope for the future, so she gave up trying to find a solution to her problems. She does not do the things her doctor recommends, wants to be cared for and inspire pity for those around her. This is a victim mentality, where you want others to make all the decisions. She must want to rescue the command of her life in order to change, she can do it, but this will include the hard work of facing her demons.